Creating Reports Proctabulate The procedure Proctabulate has often been considered underused and underappreciated. It is a procedure that can create a wide variety of tabular reports displaying frequencies, percentages, and descriptive statistics such as means, standard deviations, sums, broken down by one or more categorical variables. Entire books have been written on Proctabulate. So Proctabulate produces summary statistics attractively. Proctabulate allows you to control both the contents and output appearance. Some recommendations I have when working with Proctabulate. It's a two-step process. The first step is creating the table and the second step is enhancing it. So I recommend building the table one enhancement at a time and examine each enhancement before moving on. So in other words, when you first work with Proctabulate, try to make a very simple table and then build on the code that you've written to create the simple table. And what I mean by building on it is adding your formats, your labels, your column widths, do all of that after you've created the table how you want it to look. The basic syntax for Proctabulate, you start with the statement Proctabulate and tell SAS what data set you're going to be using. And then you have a class statement which lists all of your categorical or classification variables. And then you have a var statement if you are using any numeric or analysis variables. And then you have a table statement which is going to define how your table is going to be laid out. And then finally you have a key label statement where you can assign labels to your keywords or column headings. So with a little more detail, the class statement identifies the categorical data that you're using to classify your data. It can be either numeric or character, but I recommend that it has a small number of discrete values. The var statement identifies the numeric variables for statistics. And the table statement defines the table layout. And you can have multiple table statements in a single proc tabulate procedure. Each table statement specifies a separate table. So let's focus a little more on the table statement. Table dimensions are defined by commas. So here is some example code where we have three categorical variables, age group, gender, and blood. And we have a table statement with two commas. This code defines a three-dimensional report. The values of age group are considered the pages, gender are the rows, and blood is the columns. So here is what our table is going to look like when we have the statement age group, sex, blood. So the page, age group old, so this whole table here is just for age group which is classified as old, and this table here is age group that is classified as young. So this age group defines our page, gender defines our rows, and blood type defines our columns. And then within each cell we have the count. Here's another example of a table statement. So here we are looking at concatenation where we have variables separated by blanks. So again, we always need to have a class statement which tells SAS what variables are going to be used in that proctabulate procedure. And then here we just have no comma at all. We just have the variables sex, space, blood. And so what we see in this table is that the two variables appear as separate tables within the same dimension. So the big difference in this slide compared to the previous one is note we have no comma in the table statement. Also note here that I've given a format, six dot, and what the format six dot tells SAS is that our columns are six digits wide with no digits to the right of the decimal point. Another way you can write the table statement is with a crossing where variables are separated by asterisks. 
So here again we're looking just with gender and blood and instead of having a space between gender and blood or a comma we now have an asterisk. And so now what we're seeing in our table is that we have blood nested within gender in the same dimension. So we have females and then we have their blood type within females and then males and their blood type within males. And so again, this is just another way that we can define our table in Proctabulate. Another very helpful keyword for Proctabulate is the all keyword. It provides an additional column or row depending where you put the all keyword. And basically what the all keyword is telling SAS is to produce a totals column or a totals row. So in this procedure, we're using the all statement to get a column summarizing the gender totals and a row summarizing the blood type totals. So these are just a few of the different types of tables that we can produce with Proctabulate. And again, we haven't really started to embellish them. These are just basic tables with the actual counts within the cells. Now view the SAS demonstration video, Proctabulate where we'll see more examples of the types of tables that can be produced by this procedure.